few weeks really looking forward to coming before I come and like it's a place where you build friendships quite quickly and quite easily because it's easy to be lighthearted and feel at home I suppose I really felt at home here very quickly yeah tribal spirits very important part of my life now um, and I guess what what keeps bringing me back is just the space um, that John and the Tribal Spirit team create, and it just really allows you to connect with other people in a really kind of open and playful way. So it just creates a lovely space for connection and a sense of community. And that's what it means to me. Just being in the space where so many people are willing to be themselves, and so many people are willing to share and have fun, and the kind of friendship and the uh, experiences that I share with people here are those which uh, carry me uh, for the rest of my time, really. I remember the overwhelming thought um, on a Saturday night when there was drumming and dancing and no alcohol involved. And I remember thinking, this is the best party I've ever been at and I'm in the band. <laughs> John Bowker and we're at the Travel Spirit uh, Midwinter Solstice Retreat of 2014. What are we up to? It's hard to say what we're up to really. We are a group of about 46 people, um, all sorts of different folk from all sorts of different backgrounds who've gathered for this retreat. Drumming and singing is the theme. Uh, the stuff I'm doing is sort of African root drumming and then songs and chants from all over the world. Um, the focus is um, what John Michel would probably call radical traditionalism, in that we are working with um, traditions from all over the world in a sort of radical, conservative way, in that we are you know, keeping things uh, alive that perhaps would have died out. But the reason we're doing it is purely for fun and health. And here there are new drummers and people have been drumming for years. Here there are new singers and people have been singing for years and we just work together to try and support everyone through quite astonishingly complicated music. The rhythms themselves from the African tradition have purpose. The African tradition is that the drums take us from the mundane into the magical, to spaces where we can re-believe in the potential of magic and the potential of humans. We also work deeply with song, and the songs, many of which I've written, but also that I've gathered and um, collected from all, all sorts of different sources, are very positive focus and very beautiful. And when we work with song, that's another aspect of the sort of healing part of the, the journey.
Healing's a bit of a, a pretentious word, isn't it? You know, uh, it's pretty tricky to use. Healing could be confidence is raised when we have all the successes that we'll have putting really complicated music together. And our sense of isolation is broken down. We really meet each other here. When a child comes out to play in a really healthy way here, and we nurture that, that childlike essence within ourselves. This event is unusual in that we have a strict no alcohol, no drugs, because this is a space where we're trying to raise our sensitivity rather than numb it down. We're trying to be as, as sensitive about our own needs and other people's needs as possible, rather than, than confuse ourselves with substances and allow healing to happen. And, and there's quite a few of us with a background in um, therapy and counselling and so forth. And we bring that in in a very gentle way, that sort of awareness uh, around um, allowing people space to go through their journey. Um, tears are as welcome here as laughter. You have to go a long way to find stuff like this. And it's thoroughly worth the travel, the journey. But it's almost incommunicable. My words, it's not really, they're not adequate, frankly, just come and try it. We're just meeting people to people and you are who you are when you're sitting across the table from someone or when you're sitting beside someone and you're drumming. And that's all there is, and you're responding to that, and it's really, that's really nice, I like that. <laughs>